What's going on? So today, we're gonna to be installing a new grill on the Mazda 3. So with this install, you're gonna need a couple things. Uh, a ratchet set, a rivet gun, rivets, so I got some bigger sized rivets, and some screwdrivers. First, you're gonna to wanna to jack up your car, so here's a jack and some jack stands and we're gonna lift the car. First you wanna open the hood. From there you wanna remove the screws and the clips that are along the top of the grill. Next you're gonna go on the side of the bumper. You're gonna want to turn your wheel away from the side you're working on and so you have access to this fender line. You're gonna take off the clips and you're gonna pull back this to unscrew a screw inside the fender. You're going to want to do the same thing to the other side. While you're on the driver's side, you might want to reach in there and actually unplug the fog lights if you have fog lights. If you don't, then it doesn't matter. I have fog lights, so I there's two white clips that you can unclip them and just basically unplug the fog lights. It's so hard to film with planes flying around, but they're so cool. After that, you're going to make your way under the car and take off all the screws and the clips that are under there. There's actually two more clips that are holding the bottom part of the bumper to the rest of the car. Now to pull the bumper off, everything basically comes straight out. Um, those two clips, snap clips that hold the whole bumper in place and to keep it from shifting around. You just basically pop those out. Now from here, once the grill is facing down, so you, have the in so you can see the inside, are you going to basically unscrew all the screws that are along the back side of the grill and there's a bunch of little small ones that hold the V chrome and there's three that hold the clip onto the frame. The grill is attached by four rivets and two snap clips uh, at the top. You're gonna have to remove those. From here you're gonna have to remove all the rest of the clips and the screws that are on the inside. Once that happens you can unclip the colored part of the grill the top of the grill and remove that and also remove that liner that's at the top of the grill. So here are the two grills. Let's use the OEM one and the, the new one. So just learn how to put a rivet in. The first rivet in, it kind of makes that star shaped. So when you do pull it out, you're going to need to bend these, kind of bend it straight so that it kind of, so you can pull it through. So it starts off like this and then when you pull it through, so you kind of want, so it's going to be star shaped like this and you're going to pull it through and so you can release it. So these ones I got that are very similar to the ones that are OEM um, have, a, have a rubber gasket. Uh, take the rubber gasket off because the it will be too high over the lip so that and it won't be flush. So take the rubber gasket off, insert it into the hole, it's a little bit tight but you can make it in there. So first you're gonna insert the gun. Make sure it goes all the way through and touches the rivet. All the way. Clamp twice. Clamp a third time and the thing will snap off. There you go, it's done. From here you want to return the main screws and the rivets that are along the top part of the grill. Once you do that, you're basically backtracking through uh, this whole video. The screws that come with this grill fit nicely, so I'd recommend using those ones versus the ones that are on the OEM grill because the ones that come with the grill actually fit nicely, so I suggest using those. From there, basically just popping it back on and returning all the remaining clips and screws. So that's it for the grill install. It looks nice, very, very clean. May want to wrap it to make it a little more shiny one day, but that'll be another video. Uh, if you like this video, give that a like, and I'll see you in the next video.